Hi, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I bought some backflow incense, um, if that's how you say it, I'm not sure, but whatever. <laughs> um, these are lemon scented. I have never really tried these. Uh, I'm not really a fan of, of incense, but I really like the effect of um, of the backflow, incense backflow. So this is how it comes. It's a little cone and inside you have a hole and this is where then the smoke comes out and it makes a really nice effect. Now to actually use these you need a special burner. It's not like you put it on a plate and that's it because otherwise you won't see the effect. You actually need a little sculpture or something uh, which makes a, a waterfall effect. And Instead of buying one, I actually thought it would be a great idea to make one by myself. I have some air dry clay in my drawer, so I really want to try and make one and see how it goes. So and let's go crafting. The air dry clay I'm going to be using is this Home Depot modeling clay, which is supposed to have a stone finish. Not sure what that is about though. Um, so I bought this clay from Action, a kind of dollar store here in Europe. So it's of the cheap side, but I wanted to give it a proper try. I usually use that from Fila, so I'll see if it does the same job. So the idea is to start from the bottom and work my way up. I'll start with a little plate and see what comes to mind while working. I haven't really sketched out a model or have a clear idea of what I really want, so we'll kind of see how it goes. So I decided to go for a pair of leaves for the smoke to flow into the plate. Uh, the smoke from this incense is supposed to act like water, so I need to keep that in mind while creating the structure. Since I decided to go with a kind of natural theme, I want to make a flower with the petals acting as a passage that will lead the smoke to the leaves. But then I start to realize that the whole structure isn't strong enough to hold the weight, so I have to add a pillar in the back. Then I add the piece that is going to hold the incense cone, so it will need to have a hole in the middle which will lead to the petals which will then go to the leaves and then into the plate. At least uh, that's the plan. At this point I realize that to get a structure to hold, I'll need to add support, and I have some Play-Doh that's actually perfect for the job.
So a couple of years ago, I learned that while working with clay, you can mix them with water and make a liquid paste that acts like a kind of glue. So I'm not sure it works with air dry, air dry clay too, but I want to give it a try, especially with the smaller decorations that I'm adding. So now it's time to paint and I'll be using Van Bleiswick acrylics. So on the clay packaging it said it has a stone look. Well, it's grey, it looks like cement, but okay, can pass as stone too I guess? So yeah, anyways, all the models I've seen from these burners are all dark in colour and I'm guessing it's to keep a nice contrast with the white smoke. So, although I'm going to color the leaves and the flower, I'm still going to keep a quite dark hue, so... And then the plate and pillar and all the rest is going to be black, so we'll see how that goes. As finish, I'm adding these chameleon pigments I bought from AliExpress. 
I'm going to use the purple on obviously the purple flower and the green on the leaves so it's not going to give this strong chameleon effect obviously because I'm using all the same colors one on top of each other but it's still going to give a nice finish I think Okay, so now I'm just going to add some acrylic varnish and we're ready for testing. Thanks for watching and enjoy the flow.